uh, it is my great honor to uh, deliver the welcome address for this program uvia for all we all know what is uvia uh, uh, like it will be an insult if i start lecturing you what is uvia what is uh, uvi it is all those basic things however uh, going back to the ultra basics uva, uva means grapes so however for some people this grapes can be sweet or sour so our motto of this cme is uh, for those people who feel it is sour we want to make it sweeten and make it uh, easy for them to apply in a real time practice the definition of uva this is really funny and uh, it is interesting so my teacher used to say this word uva this is an orphan disease of inflammation in the uveal tract caused by multifactorial etiology that merits extra care what is big deal why are you boring us with this definition you might think but each of the word is so important orphan disease what do you mean by orphan it is neglected by everyone neglected by patients neglected by doctors neg neglected by even administrators <laughs> neglected by every other specialty people they think that they want to handle clear cut cases you we are just refer to balamurgan there is one person to manage those so called funny cases Uh, so orphan disease we have to really really understand what do you mean by orphan so once you understand it is an orphan disease and you have to do something to address the orphanage so we think that first thing before we do anything good is first donate so donate for a people who is uh, who really needs care that is the uva dispatches because they are in the orf they come to this boundary of orphanage okay so it is multifactorial etiology again this is again most clinicians need to understand they need to have multi dimensional thinking to understand that it is multifactorial we get so fixated with one etiology or uh, thinking that it is all there is no uh, reason that a single patient can have multiple etiologies operating together so under we need to be cognizant of the fact it is multifactorial the last last ex, important line is that merits extra care extra means uh, compared to the normal patient care you need to spend huge amount of time in meticulous history taking meticulous history taking will help in reaching 85% to 75% of the diagnosis if history is overlooked and directly we go for examination ordering investigations and then proceeding we may have lot of surprises so that uh, that merits it demands it it has to be understood that it merits you need to uh, so so a lot of time in the administrator uh, they look from the number of patients seen uh, 0 or 10 by 10 o'clock how many patients are seen by your doctors how many patients the doctor at coimbatore sees the doctor at madurai sees but we need to understand the magnitude the severity of the patient care that is demanded for that patient is going to be entirely different from another patient one patient you may have to spend even 30 to 40 minutes the other patient may even get over by 5 10 minutes so you cannot compare apples and oranges so we need to be cognizant that it merits extra care so there is so much of heterogeneity in the magnitude of the severity of the problem and that needs to be understood by each and every person who is handling this uveitis this is what the comments i got when most conferences on uveitis are conducted a uh, lot of residents they say that uh, the uv dis people are researchers they got multiple phd's uh, they always uh, speak high and stuff which we are not able to understand they are their foots are not on the ground they are always flying and they are speaking high and stuff which i cannot practice in my real time practice 
then why bother about them? So, uh, and they speak so many things in pathophysiology, pathogenesis, uh, T reg receptor, these days, high and self, which is important for in a particular angle, but for me, I am not able to understand. For me, it looks like blah blah. And funnily, they have a syndrome on this name also. Blah syndrome. And uh, they make funny comments on the UAD's conferences conducted by uh, most people. However, cognizant of these facts, we want to uh, conduct a conference which is exactly opposite of that. Exactly. Exact. We want to be down to earth. We want to make sure our feet are touching the ground. We are not high fi researchers. So the speakers I have conducted, I have consciously chosen such that they will be down to earth. They are really practical. Each of the speakers uh, are not uh, people who are speak, uh, seeing patients once in a month, uh, once, in the, once in a week. They see patients day in and day out. They know the practical problem of the topic which they are handling. They have a real-time experience. Cumulatively, if you see the decades of experience, it will be amazing. So, the uh, speakers we have spoken, uh, chosen, are really down to earth. We want to make it as simple as possible so that uh, this UVA for all, the for all is so important for us. We know that when you drive a car, uh, there are three pedals, A, B, and C. Are all basics. A for accelerator, B for brake, C for clutch. Okay. So, uh, if you want to learn a car, the control on the brake is as important as the control on the accelerator. You may say that now auto car is there, clutch is not there. But still the control on the brake and the control on the accelerator is so important. Okay. So, because it is so important, we cannot keep on pressing the brake and not moving also. We need to proceed as well with caution. So, the balance of control of do's and don'ts so important in navigating the problems or challenges in UVITs. So, that is the motto and that's why we have chosen uh, the lapses, what commonly the mistakes are done, how to uh, clearly avoid those mistakes so that uh, we uh, do a better possible care for everyone. So, this is a, a latest concept called a vicarious learning. So, there are different types of learning, observational learning, vicarious learning. So, I, I, I go to uh, UCSF San Francisco for a fellow observership in US, two weeks. I observe what the clinician do there. So, I am just observing, I am learning from observation. This is exactly opposite, that is vicarious learning. We need to learn from the other people's mistakes. People have done a lot of mistakes, so they have to burn their hands and fingers. We want to learn without we having to suffer all those problems. So that is the concept of vicarious learning. So, okay. so with this uh, small introduction, uh, I would like to say the French equivalent of thank you.